Here we have the Wi-Fi 232, and I'm going to show you what the LEDs look like when I plug it in. So you'll see right away the power lights up and ready lights up. Those are the first two. And then in the computer, it's going to be recognized as a COM port because the breakout board that I'm using, the Wi-Fi 400, has its own USB controller. And that's COM11. So now I can connect to the network. It's going to be the USR232. And you'll notice nothing changes in terms of the LEDs when I connect. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you can access the interface to configure this unit from the address 10.10.100.254. Click on STA setting to connect the Wi-Fi module to your local network. Click the Scan button to see the list of local networks. Select your network and click OK. On the next page you can enter the password. Once you click the Save button, the settings don't take effect until you reboot. On the next screen, click Reboot and you'll see the Wi-Fi module's lights change. The power button will be illuminated, but then now you'll see Ready and Link because when it boots up, it'll be connecting to your local Wi-Fi network. Your computer may experience a disconnect due to the reboot, so if you click on one of the interface pages, it'll say you won't be able to connect, but that's just because the Wi-Fi hasn't reconnected yet. So give it a couple of seconds, and then when you refresh the page, it'll come back. And now you can see on the system page, we are in fact connected to the local Wi-Fi network with 52% signal strength. Clicking on the other settings tab, we can change the serial port parameters. So here we have 9600 baud rate with 8N1 for the other parameters, and we'll use this to access the console. So if we look back at device manager, we can see this is COM11 and we can open up the Arduino IDE. Verify that COM11 is selected and open the console. When you first connect you want to make sure you have the correct uh, console parameters. We want to send no line ending character and 9600 baud and let's type in our plus 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 to initiate command mode. So here I'm not getting any result, which is strange, but if I look at my jumpers, my jumpers appear to be wrong. So this breakout board has three sets of pin headers and a USB, or two sets of pin headers and a USB port. So in this case, we need to move the jumpers all the way to the left to pass the communication over the USB port. Once we do this, our no line ending will work. We send plus, plus, plus. We'll get a response of A. Send the A command, and you should get the A plus OK response. So in my case, I was a little bit too slow, so I'm going to try it again, making sure no, no line ending is being sent. So we have no line ending, and we're going to do plus, 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 with a short pause in between. We see our A response, we send A, and we'll see plus OK. Now we can send the help command AT plus H, but I forgot I need to set the console back to carriage return, and uh, if I, I, I need to uh, error out once, send AT plus H, and now we're going to get the command list. And at the end of any command response you see a plus OK. If you see anything else you got a problem. So once we can uh, verify that we have communication to the command console, we can send a ping command, we'll ping google.com. And the result is successful.